everybody. Well, I'm sitting in the car while his lordship go, has gone into his guitar teacher tutor's uh, place because he's picking up another guitar. He's buying another one. And I, he said, I'm going to buy a new guitar. And I, guitar. And I said, haven't you got one? He wants an acoustic guitar, not an electric one. And I said, well, haven't you got one? And he said, well, I've given it away. Given it to me. He'd given it to his son. And I said, all right, OK. He says, I've just found out that the one that I've given was worth about £900. But he says, I'm getting one for about £200. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I said, I hope your son looks after it and doesn't break it. <laughs> so, anyway, he's gone in there. He's in, in out there getting um, this guitar. And I said, oh, I'm not coming in. Because his tutor keeps saying, oh, is he coming in? But the... They, they talk new talk about guitars and it doesn't it doesn't whilst I like watching them play their guitars I'm not really bothered about the conversation about it so I said no I'll wait out here and um, I shall uh, you know wait until he comes back in but he is going to uh, take me out for my lunch so we're going on another little cruise to a garden center which is about 10 10 or 12 miles away and we're going to have a little bit of a cruise so um, I'm looking forward to that now then uh, I'm going to um, I'll quickly add a little bit here because oh my arm's hurting I need to tilt that there and I need to be looking at that so uh, what can I tell you I have it's been snowing it's been snowing but not very much the roads are starting to well look at that just a little bit of slush it's turned to slush now so it's not really that much um, and uh, oh you can see on the houses on the top of the houses over there you can see they've got snow on it a little bit of snow but not like some of the places that you have in america the, the ones from america have um apart from that it's not a bad day and um i'm gonna stop this and i'm gonna come back in a second so the reason why i stopped it was because it's easier for me to download in little bits than in a long one and uh, i don't know why but it's uh so much easier anyway fingers crossed we have got uh, a slightly better internet we people have recommended people have been telling us that uh, we should we had to get in touch with one of the telephone companies and they what they've given us is this box where you they give us a little sim card like a, a phone sim card and it goes into the box and it the upload and download speeds are amazing however within four days the first four days of getting it we'd used all our monthly data <laughs> and that was because when my daughter came because we have such rubbish downloads and uploads without with our data uh, normally we we very rarely watch tv because every time you try to put something on it it just doesn't you know the download speed is so naff that we can't see anything so most of the time we'll sit and watch tv for about an hour then after after our meal in the evening we'll just turn everything off and we'll go i go off to my sewing room he goes off upstairs so we don't watch tv and when my daughter came she said mom have you seen netflix this have you seen that have you seen the other and because we had this download data download thing, this new data Card, the little sim card that allowed us more data she said i'll show you netflix i'll show you this i'll show you that and, we'll, and then the kids were watching films and of course um she showed us we watched a few episodes of sorry i'm all at six and seven she, we watched a few episodes of this fashion um vlog fashion it's a bit like the so great british sewing bee but it was a where there were fashion designers who designed clothes they were told to design a uh, a runway dress or to design something for active wear and they all design and they each what they get knocked out once somebody gets knocked out each episode really really good i was enjoying watching it. i think we watched about five episodes i don't know how many there are in total but i'm thoroughly enjoying it but anyway we ended up using too much data <laughs>
What's this you've got, Brian? Hey, this is a new guitar for a new project. It's an acoustic guitar, which I'm not very really used to, because I normally play electric guitar. Mm -hmm. And those who play guitars will understand that playing an acoustic guitar is quite different from playing an electric guitar. Mm -hmm. And what's so special about that guitar then? Well, this guitar is from uh, my friend, Simon, who at one time was also my guitar teacher when I made my comeback after a 30 year break. Mm -hmm. right. and, um, and Simon, uh, being absolutely bonkers over guitars, decided to design his own guitars and have them made by a very fine factory in China. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Pre-virus, by the way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so basically what you get for your money, the, one of the best guitars, acoustic guitars, that you can buy is a Taylor, mm -hmm. right? But a Taylor guitar uh, of the same quality as this guitar would probably cost you over a thousand pounds, probably about 1200 quid, mm -hmm. right? Um, and probably not play as well or sound as good. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, which of course is why I go to Simon for when I need a guitar. Because not only are they beautifully made, Chinese craftsmanship, underrated, uh, but uh, has been brilliant for centuries as we all know. Um, so they're beautifully made with beautiful materials, just exactly the right materials. And he insists on setting them up, especially every time he sells one. Mm -hmm. So this thing's had the whole works. It's had the frets done. It's had the, um, it's had the, 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 the fingerboard uh, sanded and oiled and all the rest of it. Uh, fresh strings um, set up perfectly and plays like a dream for those people who can play like a dream <laughs> which isn't me at the moment but it just it's just really really nice guitar um, and the project is with um, the singer from our band uh, who wants an accompanist so that we can do gigs when the rest of the band are unavailable which sadly is quite often <laughs> at the moment, yes. At the moment. So um, so we're going to put a, a little set together and hopefully go around the pubs and uh, entertain people. Mm. But I've got to learn how to play this first. Right, so okay. we'll let you get on practicing. Good. And what's his name? Your... S Simon. Anybody who wants a guitar, electric, acoustic, and who wants to get absolute total value for money, in fact double what you value you get anywhere else, Simon Cassidy, Cassidy Guitar Company, um, online, have a look, fantastic, and the service is totally brilliant. And who's he, who has he recently supplied a guitar to? He's recently supplied this guitar, or one exactly like One like that? To Cherry Holly. And who's Cherry Holly for those Cherry who don't Holly know? Cherry Holly is the daughter of Buddy Holly. Woo! Yeah. So um, Simon will be quite pleased about that. It is well chuffed, but not as chuffed as Cherry Holly was when she got the guitar. <laughs> Apparently she was over the moon with it and won't put it down, so that's how Excellent. Alright. There you go. So this is... <coughs> Excuse me. His Lordship trying out his new Cassidy acoustic guitar. So it's at this point I'll give you a little explanation of why his Lordship Brian played the learned to play the guitar again. We were it was his mother's 80th birthday party and she had this party in a hotel. And it was a five-star hotel, and um, she had an afternoon meal. Uh, an afternoon, yes, it was an afternoon meal. 
and she had uh, she had lots of guests and we all went to the five star hotel she came in a it was driven up in a rolls royce and uh, then we had an afternoon tea and then everyone went at the break of afternoon tea everybody went away uh, to their rooms because they were all stopping there overnight and then they came back later on in the evening to be entertained with by someone playing on the piano and a meal and it was uh, at that particular function I said to Brian I said you know we should do something like this for our 60th because we're only three months apart for our 60th birthday at that time and I said we could um, we could have an afternoon of entertainment or sometime sometime in the evening instead of somebody on the piano we could have my son on guitar with my nephew because they 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 played Beatles songs and they they, they harmonized or they played Everly Brothers they could do quite a few songs and I said also we could um, we could have my sister and my brother playing uh, they are folk singers and they could play do some some folk songs and he said, well, I would actually like to play. I wouldn't mind playing the guitar. And I said, well, you don't play the guitar very much. And he said, well, I'd like to. He says, I'd love to. He says, my ideal thing would be to have a rock band. And he said, to be able to perform in front of all our guests in a rock band. And I said, well, you're only about a year and a half away from your 60th, so you're going to have to do some hurrying up. So he said, right, he says, I'm going to get myself a music teacher. I'm going to go back and learn, relearn how to play the guitar. And the last time he played the guitar was in his 30s. So it's a good 30 year interval between one and, two, and the other. And he just felt he had to go for lessons. So he went to Simon's for lessons and um, practiced, learned more, did more thing, more, uh, he wanted to be the lead guitar. And on that particular night, um, my son actually was the singer. He asked my son if he would sing because he, he had a good voice. And so my son was the singer. He managed to get a bass player. He, he uh, got a bass player and a drummer. So there was my husband, there was my son singing, there was a bass player and there was the drummer. I think that was all there was, yeah. My son played uh, rhythm guitar. And so uh, then they, they, what we did was on that afternoon, everybody came and funnily enough, it was that year, it was, I, don't, I think it was 2010. And because his birthday is in September and mine is December, we decided to have it halfway. We decided to go about November, I think it was. And that particular year, we had a very, very heavy snowfall. Had we had the party the week after, nobody would have been able to come. That particular weekend, it was difficult for some people to come. And some came from down south right up, others from Scotland area down. We had quite a lot come and it was in this hotel. Uh, just on the edge of town and it was a quaint hotel it was rather nice very old looking and uh, it was rather funny because we had booked it for me and him and they of course they said that we said we put it under his name which is Waddington and so um, on the day that we arrived everybody else was there and his mother arrived and uh, obviously she was a Waddington so they put her in the most luxurious room of all <laughs> which should have been ours and then when they when we arrived and we said we are Waddington and we're the ones whose party it is I noticed their face drop and they said oh right you're in room such and such and they gave us this room and it was such a pokey tiny little room that I had to climb over the bed to get to the other side <laughs> and then when I think it was um, it was so tiny and I couldn't we couldn't get around this room it was, went in we went blum and heck this is tiny so then anyway that afternoon we had afternoon tea and as afternoon tea was uh, going on my son and my nephew played guitar and then my sister and my brother played guitar uh, son son and nephew playing the Beatles as I've said sister and, and brother playing folk music and then after tea was over everybody retired to the rooms there was a swimming pool so some people could go swimming and then um 
later on in the evening we all gather together together again in the main the main hall and in that hall with the stage was set up with the band on the top band uh, performing and all the tables around i put earplugs on every table for everybody in case it was too loud and we had a meal first like as you would do a wedding feast and we had a meal and then the band came on and i think they played about 10 songs and everybody thought it was great and Simon the music teacher took this little video which she promoted and I'll put this little video up in a minute for you to see but the funny thing was we all stopped that night and the next morning we all sat down for breakfast oh, everybody sat down for breakfast and they were all saying oh you should see our room they were you know my, my mother-in-law was saying oh we've got the most enormous room my husband's ex-wife who would invite as well she was in yeah i've got an enormous room <laughs> and we were looking at each other and said what <laughs> they've given them the rooms that we should have had i think one of them should have been for us and one of them for, for his mother but you know it didn't bother me as, as i said to my husband I said well you were not i said no I said I've had a great time. I don't care, you know. By the time we had all the gifts in our room, we just couldn't we were going like that. Couldn't get past everything. <laughs> so it was it was just an absolute wonderful evening, and I couldn't I, I didn't mind. And the next morning, when we were having breakfast, the snow came down. It was absolutely unbelievable the amount of snow that came down, and. Uh, a lot of them decided they'd just stay till lunchtime and my one friend was sitting knitting away and she said oh this is lovely because when you looked out it actually looked out onto a golf course but the golf course was totally white and there were trees in between it looked really really nice and so um eventually you know we all parted company and left by about midday on this on the sunday i think it was and uh, the number of people who said that they thought it was a fantastic weekend and we said well we might just do the same for our 70th well that's next year and i doubt if i could i don't know if i could cope with another one like that it was uh, and they all said yeah you'll have to come back and do another one for your 70th but we called it our 120th birthday party because they put the two sixes together and called it the 120th birthday party absolutely wonderful everybody enjoyed themselves and um as i say the following week it snowed so much that my car i couldn't get my car out from the snow uh, I, I don't park it in the garage i couldn't get it out from the snow and it stood there for uh how long did it stand there november december january january the 14th the snow disappeared and when it disappeared so did my car <laughs> and we we said well, we came home one day from work and i said my car's gone my car's gone where's my car gone and here someone had stolen it because what they had found some keys they had i'd lost my keys and my car at that same time when this just when the snow started i couldn't find my car my car keys and we searched high and low, couldn't find it. And that particular car we kept outside in the in the fresh air. We didn't garage it or anything. And I couldn't find the car keys and we searched high and low. And we just kept saying, well, we'll come across it somewhere. We'll find it somewhere. But the snow was building up and building up and building up. And it went from November, it snowed right through till January the 14th. And when the snow disappeared on January the 14th, I think the day before it was kind of melting, we went off to work. And when we came back, where my car should have stood was gone. And I said, where's my car gone? It's gone. Somebody's taken my car. And here it had been stolen. And the thing was, I must have dropped the keys in the ground at just, just before it snowed. And we think that somebody saw them and picked them up and then the snow came so they couldn't do anything and they had to wait until all the snow had gone and then they used the keys to get away to take the car away so the car was found um as a write-off 
so which were quite fortunate because they'd actually crashed it into a tree further up the road and uh, I actually got some compensation could get a new little car to take its place but it wasn't a new car so I wasn't really bothered going back to the, what the party event it was the most wonderful party it was beautiful because of all the snow the scenery and everything and uh, everybody enjoyed themselves so here's a I'll put a little snippet up of what happened So there you go. I thought you might like that little tale about his lordship and playing his guitar and um, I shall stop there and catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.